What's up, YouTube? So, I read on the news that a 17-year-old boy was home playing his Wii when there was either a knock at the door or the door doorbell rang. Uh, not sure which. Boy went to go answer the door. 17-year-old boy. He went to go answer the door with the Wii controller in his hand, which the cop on the other side of the door apparently interpreted as a weapon and shot him dead. Now, I don't understand. I don't understand how you mistake a Wii controller for a gun. I, it just doesn't make any sense. You're a cop. We trust you to walk around with a gun and a badge. And we pay you for this to protect us. You are supposed to protect and serve. You are not supposed to make snap, de snap decisions that cost innocent people their lives because you didn't take enough time to make sure that it was not a damn weapon. You killed a kid because he had a controller in his hand? you got to be kidding me with this. The cop wasn't even there to respond to a violent crime. She was there because she was delivering either a warrant to his father or she was there to arrest him. He broke his probation. She was there for him. He answered the door with the Wii controller and she shot him dead. How do you make that mistake? Honestly. Wii controllers don't look like guns. Even given the assumption it was a black Wii. It's not. It doesn't look like a gun. This. the Sorry. This happens. Far too often. Whether it's the guy in North Carolina. Who was in a car accident. And he went to the first house he could find. And he knocked on the door. And the owner of the house. A woman. Thought that it was an attempted home invasion. So she called the cops, as you'd expect. The cops got there. This guy started walking toward started walking toward the cop, asking for help. And how did they respond? The two cops there shot him dead. Or the guy in New York City, who was, I believe he was from Africa, uh, didn't really speak English too well. They asked him, freeze. He reached for his passport, agreeably not the greatest idea. They shot him 41 times. 41, really, 41 times. But that's not the point of this video. 17-year-old boy was in the ROTC. He wanted to be a Marine. He was model student, good grades, so on and so forth. You know, there was no danger. And he walked up to the door to answer the door that the cop rang. It's not like they busted in like SWAT. Obviously, someone's going to answer the door. It's logical to assume they're going to have some in their hands. And maybe it looks like this. Who thinks this looks like a gun? None of you? Good. You all pass. How the hell do you make that kind of mistake? It doesn't look like a gun. Even this one. If you can see the texturing on it. Even that one. Which looks... Kind of like the grip of several guns that I've seen. You're not going to be able to see the texturing at any kind of distance anyway. And if you're close enough to see the, the texturing, you shot him at point blank, you could have grabbed whatever he had from him. After, after the police officer shot him, um, they said that she was on the floor crying and bawling because she shot a 17-year-old unarmed teenager that's exactly what we expect of you if you shoot an unarmed kid you're supposed to be upset and distraught that's how that shit works to which i give her credit she felt bad about it the problem i have is afterwards the story changed i thought he had a gun oh what he had looked like a bb gun no it didn't Wii remotes don't look like guns. They damn sure don't look like BB guns. And even if it did look like a BB gun. Even if you thought it was a BB gun. You shot to kill over a BB gun? You didn't. She didn't shoot him in the shoulder. She didn't shoot him in the arm. She didn't shoot one round into the air to show him I mean business. She shot to kill. And furthermore... Odds are, she probably didn't even say, drop the weapon. 
Because if a cop points a gun at you and says, drop the weapon, what are you going to do? You're going to drop whatever the hell it is you're holding because you don't want to get shot. This kid was in the ROTC. He was a Marine. He wanted to be a Marine. He knew what kind of damage a gun would do to him. He was no stranger to what could have happened. So rather than taking a split second just to make sure that the thing in his hand was not a weapon, she shot him. She killed him. And now the police are changing the police record to cover it up. It's the thin blue line. For those of you who don't know what that is, it's also known as the Blue Brotherhood. Cops protect their own. Just all well and good when you're going into a building full of you know, killers, drug dealers, whatever. It's not so good when you're covering up the death of an innocent person. And you've left behind the families and the friends to grieve. And their taxes are going to pay for your defense? For you killing their innocent child? We can't let this go on. We can't. Not anymore. If you're a firefighter or you're a police officer, you're a doctor, you're an EMT, you can't afford to make these kind of careless mistakes or negligence. This was either a careless mistake or negligence, depending on how you look at it. It could be either or both. You know, if you genuinely try and you fail, that's different. If you just, oops, shoot them. You, you screwed up, and you cost this kid his life. All you had to do was just make sure he wasn't armed. You are supposed to protect and serve. You not only failed to protect this kid, you've ruined countless lives because you chose to just react rather than using your brain. Police Academy, I can only imagine, would normally teach people better than this. So maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the Police Academy just trains to shoot first, ask questions later. And I'm not saying all cops are bad. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that by any means. I don't know her. She could have been a great cop. She could have been a horrible cop. I don't know. I don't have her record. But I will tell you this, regardless of how good or bad a cop you are, you can't kill innocent people on the off chance that what they have in their hand is a weapon. When it could have been a video game controller, for instance, it could have been a candy bar, it could have been a television remote, it could have been his cell phone, it could have been any number of things. People have things in their hands. You can't shoot people for having things in their hands unless you know what it is. You know, at this point, there's nothing else to say. I'm just beating a dead horse. So tell your friends, tell your family what happened because we've got to do something to stop this from happening. Just spread the word. Share this with everybody you know. Whether you share my video or you just... You just tell people the story of what happened. Spread the word. That way we can stop this from happening. 